Hello, how are you doing? I'm Ryan. Today I'm going to show you how to combine two automations that we've already created to create a dynamic infographic using Excel data. If you haven't already, check out the two previous videos that I did. One is using NA10 to modify an image, which ends up looking like that. And we pass it in a parameter here and that dynamically populates the image here. And also make scenario that gets Excel data from the a, a spreadsheet. So it gets the last row. Like this. So let me just talk you through the workflow that we're gonna to create today. First of all, there's gonna be a web hook so we can hit a URL. The next node is gonna be a HTTP request and that is gonna hit the make scenario that gets the Excel data back. Third node is gonna be a request to another NA10 workflow that gets the image and we will pass in the data that we've received from this Excel spreadsheet. So this image here should show 6433. Okay, so let's get going. We want to create a new workflow and add a webhook. Let's just test this webhook. So we've got a URL here that we can hit. So you click it to copy it, listen for the test event and hit that endpoint. Workflow was started, so if we go back to here we can see that it's kicked off great that's what we want and we want to change this here to use in response to webhook node that's because we want to return the dynamic image that we create in the workflow lovely stuff the next step is hitting the make.com api call that we created in the previous video so let's just do a http request and we have to grab the url that we created here so let's just copy that address to the clipboard okay now that is on and we can add that here Response format, JSON, excellent. Click execute. Runs the previous nodes again. We should get the same data back from there. And then the output, we can see we're getting data. That's not the best format, but it doesn't really matter because we can still grab it. And AN is pretty good at that. So we want this number here and we want to add it to an image that we're going to manipulate in the next node. The next step, we want to create another HTTP node. And with this one, we want to call this previous, previously created N810 workflow. So we need to get the data from the URL, from the production URL there. So we need to call that. So we add that in here. That's incorrect, actually. We use the expression editor. I've slightly changed this because I'm having problems with DNS on my local network. But here you can see there's a space for the stat parameter. Now the stat parameter was here and it enables us to dynamically generate this image with a different number each time from the Excel spreadsheet we're gonna use it for. Okay, so we need to get the data and NAN allows you just to go through a tree here to find the value and it populates the syntax for getting that value dynamic there. So let's close that, execute that. Now this will be an error because I haven't changed the response format here. But I can do that. We're just gonna have to wait for it. Gonna wait it out. There we go. Response body is not valid JSON. Fair enough. Let's try again. Here we go. Not 
nice one. Click view and we can see there that we've got a dynamically generated image. Okay, that's pretty much it, but we just had to add the final node and that's the response. So respond to webhook and we can see the input here from the previous node and we want to make sure it's binary and choose automatically. Click execute. Let's just view the output. Brilliant. That's it. So all we need to do now, click save, make it active, get that production URL, hit it. Now it take a little while because this is using three workflows, the one that we just created, the N8N1 from previously, which dynamically creates the infographic, the make scenario, getting the Excel data. There we go. Lovely. If you enjoyed it, give us a like. Hit me up if you want to see anything else automated. Cheers.